responding to the terror here. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton with two very different approaches today. Trump doubling down on his Muslim ban and Hillary Clinton declaring, I have no problem calling it radical Islam. But then with an important ad, she said. Here's ABC's Tom Yamas. Tonight, Donald Trump expanding his proposed Muslim ban, saying the doors to the United States should be closed to anyone from certain parts of the world, regardless of their religion. I will suspend immigration from areas of the world where there is a proven history of terrorism against the United States, Europe, or our allies, until we fully understand how to end these threats. From Hillary Clinton today, a very different approach. Inflammatory anti-Muslim rhetoric hurts the vast majority of Muslims who love freedom and hate terror. Trump portraying Clinton as so scared, she won't even utter the phrase radical Islam. And her continuing reluctance to ever name the enemy broadcasts weakness across the entire world. But today, Clinton did say those words. Whether you call it radical jihadism, radical Islamism, I think they mean the same thing. I'm happy to say either. But what I won't do, because I think it is dangerous for our efforts to defeat this threat, is to demonize and demagogue and, you know, declare war on an entire religion. David, tonight we reached out to the Trump campaign to get some more clarity on this expanded ban on certain immigrants, but there was no comment. Trump is standing by his statement tonight. David? Tom Yamas with us tonight on the campaign trail. Tom, thank you. And when we come back here, more of our coverage of the terror in Orlando, the list of victims. And the star of Hamilton taking the stage and then paying tribute to the victims here, that emotional moment overnight that had so many talking today.